This week's book is The Great Thanksgiving Escape. It was another Thanksgiving at Grandma's. He doesn't look very happy about that. You can play with... I'm sorry, let me try that again. You can play in here with the rest of the kids, Gavin's mother told him. We'll call you when the turkey's ready. Have fun, Gavin's dad called. But Gavin knew it was not going to be fun. No fun at all. Hey, someone whispered. It was his cousin, Rhonda. What do you say we break out of here and head for the swing set in the backyard? I'm supposed to stay here until turkey time, Gavin said. Rhonda climbed out from under the coats. The way I see it, Gav, she said, is that sometimes you have to make your own fun. Uh-oh, it sounds to me like they're going to get in trouble. Are you with me? She asked. Gavin nodded. I'm in. They crept out and headed for the front door. Looks like they're being sneaky. Suddenly, Rhonda jumped back. That way it's blocked by vicious guard dogs. I think they picked up our scent, she yelled. Run! Uh, those don't look that vicious. But when they rounded the corner, Rhonda stopped dead in her tracks. It's the Hall of Ants! Or aunts, depending on how you say it. We'll be pinched and smothered for sure, she cried. Oh no, all their ants want to pinch their cheeks. My aunts never did that. I'm very glad. Gavin trembled, remembering Christmas last year. He'd had to ice his face for three days. They took off, but it was too late. Rhonda had been grabbed. Oh, no. Luckily, she reacted defensely. And managed to break free without a pinch. Choo! Quickly, before another one comes in, a snuggle, yelled Rhonda as she bolted past. Head for the back door! She pretended to sneeze. I guess right now that would definitely get you out of some cheek pinches. Oh no, the Great Wall of Butts! <laughs> Rhonda yelled, it's certain death to get between them and the TV. Guess they had a lot of booties in the way because they were so small. <laughs> Down here, said Rhonda. I bet there's a way through the basement. Gavin wasn't so sure. It looked dark and smelled like dirty socks and hair gel. They peeked cautiously around the corner. That looks kind of scary. I don't know if I could do that. Hi, Patch. Do you want to come join us for the story? No? You want to say hi to the kids? Okay. Maybe you'll jump up in a minute and say hi. Zombies! Rhonda screamed. They'll eat our brains and our, as an appetizer. <laughs> Those don't look like zombies. Those look like older cousins. But a good imagination. They raced back up the stairs to the kitchen. Just a little snack for the road, Gavin said. No, Rhonda yelled. It's a trap. She grabbed Gavin just before they were surrounded. I like to sneak a little extra food before Thanksgiving, too. You know, nibble. They turned and sprinted for the door. We're almost there.
<laughs> oh no. But they skidded to a stop when they reached the glass. At least we tried, Rhonda said. Gavit was quiet for a moment. Then he said, the way I see it, Rhonda, is that sometimes you have to make your own fun. They got there and it was raining outside. So they went outside and they played. Sometimes you just have to make your own fun. The end. I hope you enjoyed The Great Thanksgiving Escape by Mark Fearing.